Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. to bring you a review of a new Netflix special movie. And it is based on one of the most cult classics in the world of animation. It was something that a lot of us were pretty much begging for when it comes to this specific show. And that, of course, is the long-awaited and anticipated Invader Zim film called Invader Zim Enter the Florpus. Once again, created, written, and directed by Joan and Vasquez, the person who pretty much gave us Invader Zim back in 2000 and brought back the entire cast along with a couple of interesting special surprise guests. So... I love Invader Zim. I never watched Invader Zim when it aired, but a couple of years after, literally about two years after, one of my friends told me you have to watch Invader Zim. And of course he showed me the pilot and I was hooked. When they started putting the series out on DVD, I was an avid collector and my friends and I would quote Invader Zim to no avail. So when the show of course was cancelled due to the controversy that surrounded it, saying that it was really not a family friendly show, well, it was never a family friendly show and there was a reason why why it was on on late night Saturday nights on Nickelodeon. The fact that parents were willing to let little kids stay up that late and watch those kinds of cartoons, well, I don't think Nickelodeon is really at fault. So, a whole bunch of angry letters later, the show got cancelled, and we were pretty much left with a gaping hole. How are we going to fill this void? Will Invader Zim ever get the comeback, or if anything, the proper send-off that he truly deserves? Well, last year there was a teaser trailer that they were going to be giving us that exact thing, a closure, a final hurrah for Invader Zim, and it ended up premiering on Netflix just this past weekend, and I watched it the day it aired, and wow, this finale, if you will, is exactly what every Invader Zim fan needed to see. It was such a great film. It was simplicity at its most kookiest. Such a simple story to follow, yet so much complexity within it, yet it didn't have to be so complex to show those complexities. A great story of acceptance, understanding your worth, and working really hard to accomplish your goals. Every one is back. Zim, Gur, Dib, Gaz, Professor Membrane, Mini Moose, and a whole bunch of other special appearances and notices and little Easter eggs all around for the average Invader Zim fan. This movie was without a doubt one of the funniest experiences I have had when it comes to cartoons. I was laughing so hard. The grossed out factor that we sort of got with the horror elements within the show, they weren't as predominant in this film, but you know something that's neither here nor there. They don't necessarily need to be there. But I think what the most interesting part about this film was the whole events that Zim was trying to accomplish in regards to his goals to conquer Earth and have the almighty tallest approve of him. Well, it all comes together in one crazy event, and it was very interesting to see certain sides of Zim that we never saw before, and at the same time, it was just great to see Gurr being Gurr. He was, without a doubt, the part that got me the most belly laughs. It was great. Gaz and Dib were wonderful. I love Professor Membrane. I love that they actually gave him a little bit more character that we actually got to know him a little bit more because we really didn't see him as much of a developed character. We just knew that he was Gaz and Dib's father, but I really liked what they did with him, and I also really liked the relationship that they really expanded upon between the whole Membrane family. And when you get to the end and you finally discover what the Florpus is, it's... I wouldn't say necessarily a jaw-dropping reveal, rather it was just something outrageously fun and great to enjoy that you sort of thought you were going to get when you watched the Invader Zim movie. But wow, when I turned off that movie after 1 hour and 11 minutes, I was just smiling, saying if this is the last time we ever see an Invader Zim anything, 
gracing us. I will say that this was the best way that they could possibly have Zim go out on a high note. I do really want to watch this movie again. I really hope that there will be a video release because I would love to get it on DVD or Blu-ray just so I can add it to my DVD Invader Zim collection. And I will definitely say that Invader Zim fans will be absolutely pleased with the end result. And I am going to give Invader Zim, Enter the Florpus, a four stars out of four. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Please leave your comments in the box below and let's discuss Invader Zim Enter the Florpus and I will see you in the next one. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.